An experienced oh, man. That's right. Well, we have an experienced chef. In we the do, Chef Ryan Nelson. <laughs> hey, it is all about seared ribeye, right? It is. In uh, case you haven't had breakfast yet, we're getting you ready. And umami seems to be the word of this mm. dish. It is. This is uh, umami on top of umami. We've got to start out with some potatoes that we've smashed. We cooked off and then smashed. And then at the restaurant, we throw them in the fryer for a second to get some crispiness and some more flavor. Ooh. But you can do them in your oven. Yes. And then I tossed them in togarashi. Oh, Which wait, is, and what? That's a Japanese oh. spice blend. Togarashi? Yes. Togarashi? Seaweed. Togarashi. Seaweed. Oh, togarashi. Seaweed, oh. Uh, chili pepper, sesame. Is that what this is right here? Yep. Togarashi. A little bit of smell to it. Oh, I love the color of that, too. And then I really like doing ribeyes in a pan because you can really control how you get that great sear. Mm -hmm. Where sometimes on a grill, if you got multiple ones going, it can kind of get away from you. Right. But when it's on a pan, all you have to do is take it off the heat. <laughs> Pretty if it gets too, you now do you finish that in the oven or is searing it all the love it mm -hmm. needs? I think you just do that high sear and just kind of let it go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. More umami. We've got butter, ginger. Ooh. He's throwing stuff it. around. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all right. Shallots. That's working kitchen. Miso. Miso. Sesame. Ooh. Bourbon. Oh, Whoa. that's cool. All right. Brown sugar. Oh, I'm loving this. We'll give the sound effects from the yes, together, right? That exactly. oohs and ahs. Oh, okay. Miso, what is miso, chef? For miso people is a, it's a soybean paste, and it adds just a ton of flavor. It's that savory flavor. Huh. That's another, another, another layer of umami. Another yeah. umami. Where this else is can we get umami, umami from? Uh, tomatoes, mushrooms, ribeyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that kind of savory, unctuous, uh, flavor. Yeah. It's the mm. fifth. Uh, it's the fifth flavor. Yeah. So okay. We're let's take our that's finished incredible. butter. Right. And we'll baste our ribeye with that butter. Look at that. Savory on and savory. So your menu must be, I mean, quite wide in terms of variety. Uh, it's it's a small menu, have. but it's a, it's a real focused menu. Okay. We have eight small plates, which are salads or appetizers, All and we right. have eight entrees. We we'll usually have a beef, a chicken, a pork. Okay, so a something to fish. possibly yeah. please everybody. That's who's right. There. Focus, Always a whole fish. Too. I feel like oh, chef at, at late harvest, if you, it's going to be the best of the best. So like, yeah. there's a chicken, and it's the best chicken you're going to have. That's what we're aiming for. That's, that's yeah. what you're aiming for. Yeah. You guys, see, I've had that experience. There. I almost prefer that because I, I, it's tough when you've got minis that are so big. Agree. It's too much, Unwielding, and it's yeah. not focused. Yes, I just want. I know the one things that are really, really good. Exactly. Yep. And then normally I would let this rest, but for TV purposes, we're going right, to slice it right, right up. Look at how tender that is. Oh, this my is uh, locally raised out of Reynolds, Indiana. Okay. And you guys try to do all local, don't you? As much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah. Oh, and we're just going to, wow. on top of those potatoes. This is like spring comfort food. And we're going to hit it with our butter. More umami. Umami, umami, umami. Think, yeah. We need sound effects. Ooh. I know. Ah. <laughs> and as always, we wish we had a smell of vision. I know it. Oh, chef, that's yep. good stuff. Okay. Uh, Amber, you want to be the first one to take a dive in? You need a fork? Delicious, I you guess. You oh, oh, yeah, of course. He's going to no. come in when it's convenient. Yes, come take a seat. Come oh, take a there seat. There happens to be a chair here. Yes, there's Let's move the oven to be. and onto ribeye. Let me grab you a fork. Oh, oh, let's do look at it. That. Look mm. at this oh. deliciousness. Uh, it's I tough being a co-host. Potatoes, on Indy's yeah. Style, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. There you guys go. Someone's right, go got to do it, go Randy. I'll go first. Okay. Which which part go. do I? Oh, I might need to cut. I don't know mm. if I can eat all that. Okay, chef. Question: What should we be There's cooking our there. steaks at? Medium There's rare. I like rare, medium rare. Medium? I think rare's okay. too much and medium's mm -hmm. too gone. You know, it's kind of gonna be in between. Medium rare kind of yep. kind of hits everybody mm. and keeps all that flavor packed in. <laughs> it's safe. Oh, you guys. <laughs> so these are real responses. Oh. They, we would not be making these faces if it they were not amazing. Thank you. Perfect. It's on the menu tonight. That okay. is so yeah. delicious. Oh. It cannot get any better. Mm, than no, this. Oh, oh, that's big stuff coming from all this. Let me tell you, Chef Ryan, it really well, is. It just cooks so perfectly, and I think, like you said, to your uh, testament with that, meat a lot of times when it comes to steak can just be, it can be overdone. Sure. You know, right. it yep. can just be a little chewy. That's right. I should have brought some eggs. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's, it's good still to seems like morning. You know, he's always right. thinking of ways to amp it up, I and you can go visit Late Harvest Kitchen tonight. Thank you so much, Chef Ryan. We'll Thank see you, you again here soon, right?